Closure. ABS-CBN na saan na? At may mga katanungan. Bakit ba nagsara ang ABS-CBN? Ano ang mangyayari sa mga empleyado nito? Paano ba babawi si ABS-CBN? Babalik pa ba si ABS-CBN? Saan nagsimula ang closure ng ABS-CBN? Basahin natin to. Where it all began, the media giant's franchise renewal is still uncertain due to President Rodrigo Duterte's threat against the network. If abs cbn will not be renewed, the network will again be shut down just like what happened in 1972. According to the President of Philippines, the Lopezes owe a huge amount of money from Development Bank of the Philippines or DBP. This unpaid loan since 1995 reached and presently announced to be 1.6 billion pesos. So, meron pa silang, meron pala silang utang sa DBP na hindi pa nabayaran. Aww. Pangalawa, adding up this, the Lopez-owned TV network, ABS-CBN, received money from Rodrigo D President Duterte's party during the election of his political advertisements and campaigns last 2016. However, the network did not air any of the aforementioned advertisements. Aww. Reason behind ABS-CBN decision for not airing the campaign is still an, not confirmed but up to this date. The network promised to return all the money they got from him. This was after the president announced putting the network's franchise on hold. The Lopezes also did not issue a statement or at least a confirmation about their loans from DBP. So ito pala yung problema ng ABS-CBN. Unang-una, a network ay mayroon sila na receive na money from our President Duterte's during the campaign last year 2016. Ngunit, hindi nila ito pinalabas sa kanilang advertisement sa kanilang station. So, even nakatanggap sila ng pera, hindi nila ito binilig sa ating Pangulong Dis President. Pan panoorin natin. So, ang ginawa ninyo sa amin, it's tough ah, swinging not only me, but Chisi Scudero, pati si ano, marami pa yan. Inutso ninyo, parapan magkulikta kayo tapos it's tough ah, ninyo kami. Oh, so, I will file a complaint. Uh, so yun po ang sabi ng ating Pangulong Duterte. Dagdag pa ni Jimmy Dubundok's statement on, the face, on Facebook, In relevance to this issue, the former Kapamilya Senior revealed on Facebook their corruption, manipulation in TV contest, and sexual harassment that took place within the network. Hence, he is agreeing for the network's closure. It is all started from ABS-7 news update about Senator Elec Bongo's proclamation not being accompanied by his family. The senior feeling upset about the network's malicious way of using clickbaits voiced out of his opinions and experiences while he was still working inside the network. Many people at possess, opposes abs in way of getting attention and delivering news could not agree more than with the senior tirades against the network. Ano naman ang depensa ng ABS-CBN sa mga allegations? According to Kapamilya Stand, despite of these allegations and hate, 65 years is too long for ABS-CBN not to get loyal talents and supporters as well. Most of these people made a stand in favor of them amidst of all this crisis. This just proves that ABS-CBN 
was able to touch people's heart and put smiles on the fa Filipinos' faces. Facts about ABS-CBN Facts Number one, ABS-CBN often uses click clickbaits for this, their news headlines. ABS-CBN accepted money as payment for President Duterte's Rodrigo Duterte advertisements. ABS-CBN has not sent this money back just yet. ABS-CBN owes DVP money, summing up 1.6 billion pesos. ABS-CBN has not released any news about this just yet. There has been an ongoing denial about this loan. ABS-CBN aired an anti-Duterte and on live TV during the campaign period. Click the reference. Media should always be neutral. Paano ba makapabawi si EBS-CBN? Possible solutions for EBS-CBN? These are based on confirmed, confirmed running issues from the government and netizens. Number one, ABS-CBN not just needs to pay money, just to pay money that they owe and own up the, any responsibilities. Number two, be neutral and factual news reporting regardless of what topic they are reporting about. Number three, I'll stop appealing emotionally and start working on charge changes. Babalik pa ba si ABS-CBN? Panoorin natin to. And I will make sure that you will remember this episode of our times forever. Maraming salamat po. Ano ba ang mangyayari sa mga ABS-CBN employees? Maralaman natin yan sa pagbabalik ng Gora the Explorers News Update. Please subscribe to keep updates. Maraming salamat.